I wish someone told me these five things before I bought my Cricut. In this video, I'm teaching how you can save a lot of money, time, and bad energy as a Cricut beginner. We're getting right into this video. Number one, crafting is an expensive hobby, but it doesn't have to be one. When you first get your Cricut, you think, okay, I need my Cricut mat, tools, Cricut vinyl, Cricut blanks. But the reality is that you can save hundreds of dollars by getting very similar tools on places like Amazon or your local dollar store. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Cricut's machines and I use a good amount of their materials, but materials like vinyl and transfer tape can be bought elsewhere for cheaper and sometimes better quality. Now, I know you're going to ask it, where do you get materials like vinyl or transfer tape? First of all, my favorite vinyl store off the bat is one for three vinyl. You know this if you've been following me since the beginning of my Cricut journey. You can buy vinyl in bulk up to 10 yards, which saves you a lot of money in the long run versus buying smaller rolls of vinyl. So if you ever need materials like vinyl, transfer tape, even blanks, DTF transfers, they have all of that on their website and you can use the code Amy5 for money off your order. As for crafting tools, you probably know this, I have a slight addiction to Amazon. I've created a storefront with categorized lists from craft business favorites to craft accessories and I do receive a small commission when you purchase from my storefront. So thank you for continuing to support me while I help you. You can learn more about finding blank items like t-shirts and mugs in this video right here. At the end of the day, you are in control and get to choose whether or not crafting is an expensive, draining hobby or an inexpensive, fun one. Number two, I wish someone told me that you need to have a lot of patience and give yourself grace when you are learning the Cricut because that line in itself would save me so much time and frustration. You just got a new machine and have to learn new software. Like, hello, it's okay to be overwhelmed and not know what the heck you're doing. You're not gonna know what kind of material settings to use, what's right from wrong, which if you're here watching this video, you've taken a great first step because I'm here to help you. Starting a new hobby or for some of you a new business is scary, but it's supposed to be. Just because you're scared does not mean that it's wrong and you have to give up. Be patient and know that I was once in your shoes too. I first had no idea what the heck I was doing with my Cricut. I messed up so many times in the beginning, but we all start at the same level. So if your neighbor Sally just bought her Cricut the same day as you and knows way more than you, don't compare yourself to her and get Get mad at yourself for not being on her level because she might have had more time than you and she's in a completely different journey than you are you are in control of how much you can handle and learn as a human and if only someone told me that in the beginning i would not have been so hard on myself Speaking of learning new software, this leads me to number three. Making your own designs does not require money or sophisticated apps. Come here. You do not need a Cricut Access subscription. <laughs> you can get by with the free version of Cricut Design Space with their shapes, fonts, tools, and more. Making designs for your Cricut projects does not have to be hard. But if you do feel like you're limited with Cricut Design Space, I will share with you the two subscriptions that I have that are fairly inexpensive and are well worth the money. The first one is is Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is a website that I first discovered when I bought my Cricut. They have thousands and thousands of SVGs, fonts, images, templates, classes. I've taught some classes on there myself. And the best part is if you have a business, your access subscription comes with a commercial use license. Because remember, downloading fonts on free websites like defont.com are a huge risk that you take because nine times out of 10, those fonts are only for personal use. And you can get in a lot of trouble if you're making designs with personal use fonts. So if you want to dabble with the free version of Cricut Design Space, use your computer's fonts, try that. But if you're looking for something a little bit more, definitely check out Creative Fabrica and I will have that linked in the video description. The second thing that I use in my business and as a crafter when creating designs is Canva. And it is the best design software because I not only use it for making Cricut projects and designs, but I also use it for my social media posts, like my Instagram stories. It's basically like Adobe Illustrator Photoshop, but the easy dumbed down version. It's so beginner friendly and I cannot suggest it enough to beginners. 
So no, you don't need a business degree to make money with your Cricut, which is number four on the list. I'm also really nosy. So share in the comments if you are strictly a crafter and you're using your Cricut as a hobby or if you bought your Cricut for starting a business. I bought my Cricut and wanted to make money right away because I was basically a broke college student, but that left me no time to learn. And if you've watched my previous craft business videos, you know that I always say this term, learn before you earn. But yes, you can make money with your Cricut machine by selling crafts on websites or social media, making user-generated content for Cricut or other brands like Michaels, or teaching educational videos on YouTube, just like me. If you have the drive to quit your full-time job and become a full-time business owner, I'm so glad that you're here and come across this video because that's what I want to help you achieve in 2024. I will be rolling out more resources this year for craft business owners and crafters. Keep an eye out on all my platforms and make sure you are following me. I saved the best for last, which is number five. Join online communities and make crafty friends. I felt so alone when I first bought my Cricut because everyone around me was either too wrapped up in their lives, jobs, families, or just didn't really care as much about crafting as I did. So I created my social media accounts. I joined Facebook groups. I wanted to connect with other like-minded crafters and small business owners. And you should too. Why? Think about it. If you surround yourself with people that don't have the same same dreams or hobbies as you, their negativity, their doubts, or even their attitude will affect you in some way. For example, would you take advice from someone about cooking dinner recipes when all they do is order takeout? Probably not. Online communities like Facebook, Instagram, Reddit have thousands and thousands of people that are just like you. Who you surround yourself with makes a big impact on you. Okay, share what you found most helpful from today's video and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you get free access to weekly videos from me about Cricut projects, small business tips, and more. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a very crafty day and I will see you in the next video. Bye! From under the stars, you pack up your car Cause you're going far away from here I wish I could stall, but I never call